Hey, thanks for joining. I'm Mario here with Shore um, at the STEM office in Irvine, California. I'm here with uh, Ryan Budvitis, but we call him Bud. That's okay to call you Bud, right? It is okay, and it's good to have you here. Mario. Thank you for inviting me. It's a beautiful office, um, but most importantly, amazing product, all the STEM products. Um, we're going to be talking about the table um, speaker here and microphone um, because I feel that it's a great starting part for those who uh, want a simple audio solution for their Absolutely. conference room. Absolutely. Uh, so why don't we dig into it? Um, tell us a little bit about the speaker, why it's so special, and why it's easy to use. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it is a speaker phone, so it does have both microphones and a speaker. It has nine beamforming microphones and a downward-facing speaker, and it was specifically designed to create enough separation between those two different components so there would be no echo. But then what's also on top of that is there is a DSP chip, and so on the inside it is, it is running all these algorithms that it is doing you know, the echo cancellation, noise cancellation, automatic gain control, all sorts of really cool stuff. Yeah, so a lot going on inside the speaker, and you said there's separation between the microphones and the actual speaker with yes. echo cancellation, because when you have a microphone and a speaker, sometimes they don't play well together, so yes. the fact that it is both in one is pretty amazing, yeah. uh, that it sounds the way that it does, and you're not getting any echo there. Um, we're actually using the speaker now for this uh, piece of content, um, so you can see how it sounds, um, and it sounds amazing. Yeah, and this room right here too, we're in, it's about a 12 by 15 foot room. Um, so this would be, you know, this is actually the perfect room for one single device. It covers every inch of this space. Um, so it can be in smaller rooms, slightly larger rooms, but then there's the also cool part where you can mix and match and add additional devices yeah. to the system. I was going to say, so this is one piece to the STEM puzzle, if, if you will. Um, the one piece to the whole entire STEM uh, ecosystem. Let's take a look at that ecosystem and maybe you can tell us about all the different um, components uh, that make up the ecosystem. Absolutely. There. So we have, as you see on the top there, the stem ceiling, um, which is just microphones, which is important to take note of, um, which can be installed in a two by two standard square that's usually within the ceiling grid and or can be dropped down in chandelier mode like you see in this image right here. Uh, below that is the stem wall, which has microphones and speakers, uh, 15 microphones, two speakers, two subwoofers. Um, obviously, there's the table that we're talking about. We also have the stem speaker, which is just a speaker, and it usually gets paired with the ceiling. Um, and then we also have the hub device, which the hub is what aggregates the different endpoints when you have multiple units in a room. And then we also have our control to be able to control everything as well as just kind of get a, a, a look at what's happening within your different rooms and all that good stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, let's take a closer look at the speaker because one thing that I'm noticing is that there's a light on the speaker mm -hmm. and it's actually lighting in the direction to which someone is talking. Mm -hmm. So it feels like, or it seems like to me that it's kind of recognizing the folks in the room. And so let's see if we can, and there's a good shot there. Now, if you look closely, you can see that it is lighting up on the angle that I am talking in. Yeah. And then I think, but and if I you- I think, yeah, just wanted to do, I'm getting up for my seat and, and the light is, is going to be moving yeah. where I am. So there's this directionality of the beam forming actually doing its job. But there's also something to take note of, too, where if that is just not for you and you don't want any lights on there, um, you can absolutely turn that off within the software. That's so. cool. And then just before we move from the shot, these two wires back here um, are, it, that's how simple the connection is, right? It's just, a, and I think we have a, a picture of it here of what the back looks like there on yes. the speaker so yeah so just to touch on that so each of the devices have these two connections and so the main one is going to be power which is if this is powered over ethernet um, i will show you how that is after we take a look at these two connections um, and then the one that really makes this super super easy is the usb connection yeah. so regardless you know the table can be utilized as a standalone device since it's both microphones and speakers um, but, and then it's just connected USB to your computer and then it works just like a headset would. So yeah. So simple really plug simple. and play, right? Yeah. 
That's I love things that are plug and play. Yes. I use a lot of microphones for when I do live streaming, podcasting. Yeah. They're very simple plug and play right into my laptop. Exactly what we're doing here with the table. So it's that that simple. Yeah. So I noticed you got something there. Yeah. So this is going to be a PoE plus injector. And so what this does is, is you can actually put these devices on a corporate network, but you do not have to do that. But it does need that PoE plus power. So you would buy something like this, which you can get almost anywhere online, and you would plug this into the wall, and then it's going to be the, that connection with the CAT cable to the device that will power um, the table as well as power. All of the units will need that PoE plus power. Yeah, cool. So simple, easy to very, use, very plug easy. and play. Yes. I love things, like I said, that are simple, especially when it comes to audio, because I know there's a lot of folks out there that they get caught up in networking, they get caught up in getting great sound when you want to have a conference or you want to start a podcast or something. And I'm sure we have a lot of different simple solutions for that stuff. And the table is a perfect example of getting a simple solution for your conference room. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one other thing, too, when I was digging into uh, when, uh, all the other aspects of creating this content. And I came across this here, which I think um, really sort of captures um, what STEM is all about, basically. You know, this uh, one ecosystem, limitless combinations. Yes. There's a lot. Um, it just really talks to um, the simplicity of the uh, ecosystem and the product and also the versatility and how it's simple and easy it is. to A hundred percent. And in a great example, it's like starting with this table unit, which is Again, it is uh, a standalone device, has both microphones and speakers, but it's also the most cost effective solution within the ecosystem. And so, you know, Mario just hit the nail on the head. Like this room could be this one table unit. It could be a wall unit. It could be a ceiling unit with a speaker. The room becomes twice as big as this. Then it becomes, how do you want to outfit it? Yeah. You know, what do you want to put where? But the cool part is, is like you can even have a larger conference room and you could have a couple of these on the table and still keep that cost very, very low to get high quality audio. Yeah, it's awesome. So again, simple, easy solution. I was glad I was able to come down here and talk with you guys. It's always a great time. Anytime you want to have me back. We will have back many I'm, times, yes. I'll be uh, more than happy to come down. So, um, again, I'm Mario. I'm here with Bud. And uh, we're talking STEM. So, thank you for having me once again. And I hope all of you guys have a great day. Have talk to one. you soon. Bye.